What's up, my dudes? Got Spring Creek on MX Thursday TV Reflex made by the RDC crew. Shout out to the legends. We got Red Rider, uh, C4 Detonator, and hello, Spencer Dark Slides. There we go. Uh, so that's basically the RDC crew, whatever the hell. All right. So uh, pretty much three of the heavy the main heavy hitter track makers nowadays on pc version of reflex right they all came together to make this so pretty sick dude still getting still getting reflex pc ama replica tracks in 2019 this game came out a decade ago suck a dick <laughs> like holy crap that's crazy that is so crazy i mean god dang dog and look at the inside ruts. I mean, look at this. Like, free, by the way. Free content in a game that was made 10 years ago. What the hell? <laughs> it just, it like doesn't make, it seems too good to be true. I swear to God. Oh, uh, that SpongeBob disagreed. Um, like, seriously, though, the custom content and the custom tracks on the PC version of Reflex and MX Simulator that whole realm of like custom user created gear and bike skins and every bit of that it literally it literally feels like i'm living in a dream it feels like how the hell is this even possible it when you compare it to like a milestone game or you know some of those other like standard arcade motocross games that have literally one ten thousandth of the track content and gear content and bike content and you're literally paying you know out the ass in comparison for price difference wise it's just insanity dude like good god if you don't have the pc version of reflex and the console version of reflex and mx simulator you're not a real motocross gaming fan Ooh, it's ah did i burn some of you guys there oh damn like for real though if you don't have those games you're you're literally not a motocross gaming fan period you're you're casual to the point of like it's like you can't even consider yourself really a motocross gaming fan because you don't even know this is so much better so much more advanced so much on the next level of all that other shit that you're literally like so far out of the loop if you don't have these games that you're you're not even a fan dog you're not even a motocross gamer really you're just you're you're just a you're a gamer you're not really a motocross gamer if you don't have these games I mean, I hate to say it, but it's that's the honest to God's truth. Like, for real. That's how much better they are. That's how much more content there is. That's how much more longevity they are. It's funny how you can make direct comparisons to, like, MX Simulator and Reflex in so many different ways. Look at this fucking sick-ass skill gap roughness, dude. Pretty badass. I mean, and... I hate to say it, but you can even compare this directly to the MX vs. ADV All Out Spring Creek that they just made. That you just paid extra money for. And this is even better. <laughs> In a game that you didn't have to pay any money for it. Oh, and you've got every other replica round from multiple years of previous rounds. And the bike feels even better. The ruts feel even better. The track feels even better. The skill gap's even better. <laughs> it's like, yeah, damn. I mean, oh, boy. Now, I will say one thing. I don't know if it's my graphics or what exactly is going on here. And it's not, you know, I'm not hating on All Out by any extent. I think that's the best thing they could have done for their game. And it's really awesome that they are doing it. And I think it is worth the money to buy the DLC and All Out. I really do. The AMA Replica DLC, that is. I really do think that's worth the money 100%. I just find it to be, like, insanely hilarious how... You know, the PC version of Reflex, you've got the same thing, but you're not having to pay any money for it, and it's even better, because it's in an even better physics system of a game. You know what I mean? That's a triple. You gotta watch out for that puppy. Um, <coughs> Let me cough along up. Yeah, let's see. It's got this tight corner right here. Don't know exactly what layout, dudes. I've been through so many different layouts. This has got to be like the 2019 layout, right? That's got the newer mount... Morris, whatever, um, not Mount Morris, fucking Mount Martin, whatever they call it, right? I think that's like the newer one right there. So, either way, shout out to you, Dark Slides, uh, Red Rider, C4 Detonator. You dudes have been 
popping off on the custom tracks this shit forever and uh yeah you you guys are legit all the way around i just have to say it because you guys are what's really like breathe all the life back into such an amazing arcade motocross game and all the content you guys made for this game over the past and i hope i've been that to some extent for mx sim right with the 60 plus crazy ass random design tracks i've made on that game and still have a lot more to come right still have a lot more stuff i want to make on that but you know i hope i've been somebody that's been able to add to the game you know be somebody that's been good for the community add content to the game add value to the game that's like it's the best thing you can really do when you think about it because if you love these games so much like all the track makers you're and gear makers and skin makers and all that stuff you guys are literally what keeps the game you love alive longer you, you guys are what keeps it going on mxm or reflex either one right and so when you guys do that it's just really cool but uh all the sections are pretty legit i mean can't complain too much got plenty of roughness got tons of inside different rut lines and stuff and this is another prime example of like you know you know how there's terrain deformation on reflex but here they've got so much pre-made that it's not really that that big of a reason to have much actual terrain deformation on this. And I don't really feel like it would really do all that much anyway, especially in a, you know, five, you'd have to run 15 laps to really notice that much of a difference on this track as far as the terrain deformation. So it's kind of like the same difference on MX Sim. Like it becomes pointless when you have a certain amount of pre-made on a track. It literally just becomes pointless to have a terrain deformation system on it. Now, if you're starting with a flat surface, then yeah. And of course, Reflex with a flat surface can make way better of a track than MX Simulator with a flat surface and the terrain deformation systems on on both games, right? Reflex is way more capable of making a proper track with their terrain deformation versus mx simulator in that sense but look at all the ruts dude so badass how they made some of the ruts go into other ruts and then form into other ruts really love when tracks can do that this triple right here dude no fucking joke I need to start hitting the outside or something now i will say you know how i mean isn't spring creek supposed to be like a sandy vibe track a little bit more sandy vibe I, i'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling like with the, the actual dirt coloration and decal and just the overall feeling of the track feels more like a standard dirt to me versus a sandy loam so i don't know if they were going for that vibe or if um i don't really know it doesn't feel quite as sandy as i might would have expected still has some of that vibe right but not not quite as much as i was originally um would anticipate from a like a millville track you know but either way, I mean, tons of jump fun factor, tons of skill gaps in the corner. They kind of kept that, uh, you know, standard, like, rut roughness, ruts in the corner design that you've expected from a lot, and that's what you've gotten from a lot of the AMA replica tracks on Reflex, you know, custom uh, Reflex replica tracks like that. Um, and we've had quite a few of them over the years, but it's got a very similar, like, roughness, rut design type vibe feeling as all of those did. So, uh yeah, it's interesting how they did all this right here. Got quite a bit of choppy roughness, as you expect from Millville. Gotta love that. <laughs> Literally, like, dragged nothing and fell off. <laughs> but uh, got some jumps right here. So, not too bad, dudes. Um, it, they, do, they did design it a little bit different in some areas than I might would have anticipated. It's quite a bit different in a few areas than, like, this exact layout would have been on MX Sim. It's a little bit different in, in some ways. You just kind of got to know both the tracks. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just like crashing on nothing. I don't know why that happens on the PC version of Reflex to me, but that ne those, those two crashes I just had right there, neither one of those would have ever happened on the 360 version of Reflex. I swear to God they wouldn't. I don't know why, why sometimes it feels weird like that on the PC version of Reflex. It's really annoying. I, don't, I just I don't know why it does that. Like, with the same exact setup, same exact bike, same exact everything, same exact controller on both. Like, there's no difference in how I'm inputting or what I'm, what bike I'm on or any of that. But yet, I will literally have some of the most weird crashes you can possibly imagine on the PC version of Reflex versus the 360 version. I would never crash like that in the 360 version. They're just different in ways, and it's really hard to explain, but 
I would love to be able to ride on all these tracks on the fucking 360 version of Reflex. That would be so badass if that was possible in some kind of way, you know, with those, the 360 version of Reflex's physics system and all that. Pretty cool when you grab into a rut like that, though, and carry it all the way through the corner. So, either way, quite a bit of roughness down the hill here. Obviously going to have to get on your brakes a little bit, catch that rut right there, all right. But yeah, I don't know, I get, I mean... You know, Spring Creek's not, I guess it's not, obviously, it's not sand in the sense of, like, Southwick sand, I understand that, but it's still supposed to be somewhat sand, right? It's supposed to be, like, sand loam mix, not, like, full sand, but not full dirt. I guess this, to me, just for whatever reason, is putting off a little bit more of, like, a standard dirt vibe than a, sand, than a like, a loam sand track or anything like that, but still, nonetheless, really fun-ass track. Lots of skill gap ruts in the corners. You can cross rut the shit out of it. Example A. Uh, right there, dude. But either way, boys. Uh, to some of you guys that are, have been playing all out on some of the, you know, replica, newer AMA replica DLC, just go play on this. Go play on that Spring Creek on all out. And then go on the PC version of Reflex and ride on this track. And just see the feeling difference of the... The way you like go through a rut, the skill gap of the ruts, skill gap of the roughness, and just the overall vibe that you get playing reflex versus all out. And you'll see the difference as far as the not as much weird like mobile game arcadey bounce house through the corners, all the weird little shit that all out has to it. It's just not like that, you know, with reflex. Reflex has just so, that perfect like grounded balance but not too grounded and it's got perfect like where it seems perfectly balanced between ground physics and in air physics feeling right it doesn't feel like either one of them's better than the other it feels like the ground physics feel just as good as the air physics whereas most most motocross games are they're not like that at all for instance all out has way better air physics than it ever thought about having ground physics wise and the Milestone games have way better ground physics than they ever thought about having air physics-wise, you know what I mean? But Reflex has that balance, right? MX Simulator has that balance. You don't feel like it's, like it's, uh, the, you know, the, the balancing table is, is leaned any one way with Reflex or MX Sim. And that's what makes them so badass, because you can have all that jump fun factor, all that ground corner fun factor skill gap, everything about it right but uh and that's basically the main things to motocross when you really think about it it's it's the ground fun factor like ruts roughness corners and then it's the jump fun factor it's your supercross jumps it's your motocross ruddy jumps it's your elevation downhill um you know like downhill jump sections stuff like that that's pretty much what motocross is when you think about it at the end of the day it's jumps Error physics and the ground, ground physics. <laughs> it's pretty simple, dog. I mean, that's, that's like the two things to motocross that you have got to nail when you make a motocross game. Um, holy God, save of the century. But either way, dudes, I'm going to start doing some more live streaming here really soon. So I'll uh, be looking out for that. Going to get that going. And if you guys want to go follow me up on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Steam, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Twitch even, even though I'm never fucking live stream over there. I may have to one day, I don't know, but I never do. Uh, if you want to go follow me up on any of that stuff, my username on literally everything is just Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. Literally, you see right under player name right here. See that right there where it just says Spencer Turley with no spaces and no capital letters? That's my username on everything. Instagram, Snapchat, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Steam, um, Twitter, Twitch, bitch, everything, <laughs> literally everything. Go add me up, boys. I'll add you back, uh, get you in on all that, even get you in my Discord as well. So appreciate all the support. And uh, I'm going to give this track a, I don't even know, dude, like maybe a, uh, it's not bad. I don't know if it, I, I don't know. I mean, I certainly think they could have given it a little bit more of a Millville specifically feel to it it almost feels kind of like just your standard blanketed 
the way they've been doing this AMA motocross ruts and roughness on pretty much all of the replica motocross tracks of, the, of Reflex here recently. It's kind of got that same vibe to it. Uh, some of it doesn't feel Millville specific, you know, as specific as I might would have wanted it to feel, but the ruts are still fun. Lots of rut fun factor. Layout's pretty solid. I mean, just about as good as you can get the layout aspect of it. couple sections here and there might not feel quite as exact as you might would think, but in the grand scheme, not terrible. I'm going to give it a... Uh, I might have to give this puppy like a mm, somewhere between like maybe like an eight and a nine. That's kind of where I'm at on it. And difficulty, definitely medium, probably in between medium and hard here because that triple right there you just saw is pretty difficult. If you get to gassing it really hard in these rough corners and trying to get right in one of these smaller ruts can definitely be tricky. You really have to aim the bike in the corner because if you go out of a rut, you're fucked, literally. So you have to really think about that. Um... So, yeah, that's where I'm at on it. But either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.